welcome back to the channel today i'm going to bring this game it's called pessoa pessoa is this writer you see here in the box is a portuguese very famous author um, and the difference the difference from this this author and all the others that exist out there is that he in terms of style and i may be lacking in the proper words to to mention these things especially in english but he he wrote things under his name, Pessoa, but also under different heteronyms. Which, if you don't know what it is, is when you sign a, a poem or a text instead of your name, you sign it with a different name. But it's your, it's you. It's like you are creating this fake persona that you sign texts under their, that name. And uh, you can have an idea here of the places that he visit on the box. The thing with this guy is that he also created personalities uh, for these heteronyms. So the texts, the texts that were written for each of these um, heteronyms, they had specific style addressing specific topics. So it's quite interesting if you like into this stuff, which is not my favorite subject, but still I wanted to bring this game because it's not only a national thing, but also to give you, if you're interested in this kind of topics, to get to know more about Pessoa and find it in your own language. So, the game has a solo mode, up to four. Um, seems like a complex game. Also, that will take a bit, 75 minutes. Okay. So, let's see what is inside Pessoa. I'm just going to remove the tape here from the sides. Before opening, I'm going to show you the back because the back is quite interesting. It has some. It has some. I'm going to focus on the English text here. It says, "It's very far away, but embody one of Fernando Pessoa's heteronyms and move between his head and the iconic places in the city of Lisbon, bookshops, squares, and cafes that the writer frequented." Seek knowledge, inspiration, and write poems. The brighter your writing, the more victory points you will earn. Discover the feeling of having all the world dreams, world dreams inside you. First, it feels strange, then it permeates. So this is a famous quote from Fernando Pessoa from 1999. 29, sorry, 1929. Okay, and I'm taking this tape here. For now I'm just going to cut to move first and forward. Try not to damage the box. Mm. Because these are the kind of labels or tape that comes very easily. So let's just pull it. That's it. Okay. It's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. Normal size game, but still quite heavy. Okay. Uh... Wow, this is one of the thickest manuals that I've seen. It's very big and it's just just for the Portuguese language. And then we have the English ones. Let's take a look. Wow, so just the cover is already too complex. Lots of text here. And you, what you can see is that the, the his four most famous heteronyms are Alvar de Campos, that love technology, technology from the 20s, right? Not, the tech, not iPhones. Okay, Alvaro Campos, and then Ricardo Reis, a classicist, stoic character, passionate about order, ancient Greeks, so that would be the theme. Alberto Cairo, focus on nature, uh, criticize progress, so he, this guy loved technology, probably progress as well, this guy hates that. So the same person has this multitude of feelings inside and different perspectives for world and life cohabitating the same person the game will try to capture that and then bernardo suarez bernardo suarez was the most conventional of the four heteronyms perhaps the closest representation of fernandes Pessoa, real character okay wow what a character here so mm -hmm. that's how the board will look so I'm not sure if I could assemble the, everything in this video because of the unpunching, but you see in the middle, you have Fernando Pessoa's head, 
the author and then you'll be playing with one of the heteronyms and you will go around the map to the places that you visit which are the cafes, the bookshops, the Rocio Square, etc. to get inspiration, to write some poems but you can always go into the middle to assume his main character or his baseline <laughs> it's really, really a big manual big manual so there's the Persoa's Mind and there's one space which is Martinho da Arcado, which I believe is uh, like a coffee. Then Brazil is another coffee visited. Actually, if you visit Lisbon and if you go to this coffee, it still exists, Brazil, there is a Fernando Pessoa statue right there for you to take pictures. So if this inspires you to visit the city, then you'll know that. They also visited the bookshop. And I guess that's it. Now that's also Rousseau Square, which is a famous square that has these waves. The, the tiles in the ground form these waves. We'll see in better details on the open. And then there's another action, which is resting and getting your energy back. Being a poet is... It, it, it takes a lot. End of the game, how you score. Okay, and then there are some advanced... Our advanced heteronyms on the other side of the four heteronyms you have the advanced version which i believe the game becomes uh, symmetric a little bit there's also another module which is the message the message is a famous book that he wrote so it's also used here as i, I think it's like end of the game bonus added oh sorry just got taped because of this taped to the table <laughs> let me remove that there's a solo mode and we are not even halfway through <laughs> the manual oh uh, no that's because there is german now so yeah i don't understand this kind of manuals already the same manual you have what it seems the second language here and you just see in the cover the english anyway that's not a big problem but you already know so there's also german so i guess the other one will have the portuguese and the spanish so then the manual is not that big not that big okay cool then we have the board let's see the board seem, looks like a puzzle puzzle so i cannot show everything but i'll show you the pieces this is one of the places it's almost it's Martinho da Arcada restaurant where you can visit. We've seen the picture there. This one seems like to be the bookshop. The bo oh no, wait. So it's a bookshop on the back, but then it's it's the Rocio Square here. Then the Rocio Square has on the back the bookshop where you can slide the cards and get different resources or something then the bottoms the this is like hexagon or, or pentagon or they the bottom is the brazil letter the cafe where you get the cards with the poems it's only me or this looks like a coffee capsule from dulce gusto machines or nespresso that's what i see then in the middle you have something that to assemble first which is, how does this work? Maybe it's the... Hmm, no I don't know how this is assembled because what I've seen is this. Maybe this is something you put for a different module because what it shows in the box is uh, you have the, the in the center of the hexagon you have all these. This is like the years will pass by and this will happen. You have these actions that you can gain and if the cards correspond with these symbols here from the corresponding year you'll get extra extra things so now we'll we'll have lots of tiles to and punch so this means these are like the level three poems now the three card poems and then you have if you use these kind of cards which will be the nature cards it gets more one more point these probably are the science cards or the technology cards this is a third type which i don't know yet the name yeah and then we have the heteronyms so let's take a look and see if we can understand 
So this will be probably the advanced one because it says message. No, they both say message. So what is the difference? What is the difference? Five actions or five energy, seven cards. And on the other side, hmm. Oh, I see. So the base is the same, but then if we turn, yeah, it becomes different. So you see here, the base version, everyone scores one point for green, one point for Greek columns and one point for technology. But then on the other side, they have, I guess they're specialized in their own heteronyms because this one, Alvaro de Campos, would score more on the technology side. And this one, Alberto, should be the one related with nature. He scores more on the nature side of poems. Okay. And that you can also see that they have, a, while here, they both have the same power. Here on this side, they have different ones. So this guy would do this power here. This one would do this. And then Bernard Suarez would be the balanced one because he is like the one more closer to the artist, etc. We saw that. So he, he, on the advanced version, he would also score uh, equally. And this one would, Ricardo Reis, would be the one closer to order, etc. He scores more on this side. So that's how the four heteronyms or four personalities work. Some tiles here. Oh, that's instructions. How to assemble. Choo, 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 choo. That's it. Choo, 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 choo. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Oh, I get it now. So this is the base. And the base in the, of the center where all the puzzle pieces, pieces fit. And then this will go on top. And I need to put the, the thing in the middle to hold it. So I need to assemble that. What else do we have here? We have that player tokens each representing for one different color and and then and then and then and, 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 and. so I see, I see only three and the fourth one would be isn't something missing here because if you play with four the last one would be you need to play with the black one which is the artist let me just confirm that Yeah, five wooden pieces. Five wooden pieces. Hmm. So, I have a problem or not. Do I have a problem? No. Ah, I was just completely blind. Yes, here are the five wooden pieces. There you go. This would be Fernando Pessoa, the main person, and these would be the four heteronyms that you can use. So, correct. One last problem for me. You also get some bags here. Thank you very much for that. And the only thing left to see would be the cards and this. Okay, so this means that these are the four players. And when you change to the main char character, you turn this. Then we know that you are, you are using the main figure, which has some advantages. And the cards. Let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so they have different backs, so this would be player references to help, indicating how the game works. Then you have the message cards, so this is that extra module that will give you specific points in the end of the game. And oh, so cool. you have famous quotes from Fernando Pessoa in Portuguese and English, so what I read here I, I recognize the Portuguese one, and then you have the English version. I'm going to review the English version because this is maybe it will inspire you to get more knowledge about Fernando's soul work. So, God wills, man dreams, the task is born. God wanted the world to be whole. To see the sea to correct and no longer divide, it chose you and you went fort unraveling the foam so this is regarding discovery errors oh salty sea so much of your salt are tears of portugal 
it runs better in Portuguese. Because we crossed you, so mother, so many mothers wept, famous poet. And then it continues here. So uh, some of these poem poems are like bigger than just these four sentences. So many sons prayed in vain, so many brides remained and married, so that you might be, might be ours, O oh, sea. Ah, uh, when, when will you wish by returning, turn my hope into love, from the mist and the yearning, when, when my dream and my lord. Was it worthwhile? All is worthwhile when the spirit is not small, another famous one. So the Bujador here is the Cape in South Africa. So again, a reference to the discovery area. He who wants to go beyond the Cape must go beyond pain. No pain, no gain. Got to the sea, peril and abyss has given, but it was in it that he mirrored heaven. So I'm not going to read all of them. Let me see if I can recognize some of them. I guess when playing this, people can get entertained by just reading these things out loud. Wow. If you want to read it, just pause the video. I'm just looking at the Portuguese version. Oh. Okay. Not sure if these quotes are from this book or not sorry i'm not i'm not a really literary literary literature person so okay and then we have these cards these are the cards that go to the library and they will they will have so the, it, it, it changes from game to game so it creates some variety but will make these resources happen if you do certain actions okay and then you have this full deck which is the deck that you will get the cards to create your poems so the cards will get these resources below those this is the type of the card so this will be a nature with the aquarius aquarius zodiac symbol which if it matches the year where you are it will give you extra resources so i'm trying to figure out what is the content of these cards the flavor here i will never kept hurts but it is as if I have kept them. Okay, so herds, it's nature. So poems regarding herds is regarding nature. So this one would be order. Pisces, Zodiac. To the night that comes, doesn't belong. Lydia, the same order that they asked of us. Hmm... O oh, wheels, O oh, gears, the eternal... <laughs> so technology, machines, progress. From my village I see the land, as you can see in the universe. Live without time, wait how much it measures, and measure how much you think. Wait, some of, some of these senses are too dense for me, so... <laughs> And within me, a steering wheel starts turning slowly. So I guess with, with so all the games should have flavor text because with lots of AP between players, you should definitely take a look at something to keep yourself entertained. Okay, so... Wise is the one who contents itself with the show of the world. I love all things and my heart is... An inn that is open all night. My soul is like a shepherd. It knows the wind and the sun. Okay. So we could spend all day reading this stuff. And go nowhere. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Lydia again. So Lydia should be a famous character. Oh, some Greek references here. And there is Plato and Virgil. And the machines and the electric lights. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let me just jump through a few. To be as complete as a machine. 
Okay, so this card is worth half, 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 three quarters, okay. So strange, strange card values here. And yeah, gods are gods because they don't think themselves. Gods are gods because <laughs> I'm the one that needs to think about this. I, I feel like I'm in the English class or Portuguese class where you need to work and study this text and you need to find meaning where there doesn't seem to be any meaning so I'm, I'm having a deja vu from those times but anyway here is Pessoa I guess that if you like poems literature this is the perfect board game for you because it will bring that topic it will introduce you this writer which you can explore later on hopefully on your own language and find the materials that he wrote the text the poems and then expand your knowledge if not I guess it's just a worker placer game with a team that may or may, you may or may not like. Um, I think I have a pro positive approach to this game. It's a national uh, writer uh, that um, I know very little. Maybe I would like to explore a little bit better. And worker placement, that's perfect for me. So I'm, I'm very excited to try in the next days. I hope you do. If so, don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing. We've crossed the 3000. Thank you for that. We want to continue to grow and reach higher, higher numbers and bring more and more interesting content. So if you if you like board games in general, then I truly believe that you'll find interesting content in this channel to the point that you consider that subscription as well. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.